All right, today we're working on the 79 CJ7 rock crawler. Um, been working on the engine for a little bit. It's a 351 Windsor swapped out of an 83 F250. Um, been doing the regaskets, new distributor, timing cover gasket, oil pan gasket, uh, intake valley, repainted the intake, front of the engine, um, all that stuff. So now I'm onto the uh, exhaust manifold gaskets, and as you can see. Um, got the manifold off, but I've got two, which was three, stuck exhaust manifold bolts in the head. And we're going to be trying some tips today, uh, see if we can get this figured out. This one here I was able to get out. These are stainless steel, and probably the factory ones, because I don't think this, ever, this thing's ever been apart. It's uh, really stuck in there, really rusted. Uh, using a new product today, using the Loctite. Uh, 80 40 uh, freeze and release. Been using a small uh, Burns matic torch, but that hasn't been enough, so upped it to the uh, oxyacetylene torch, getting inside the exhaust port there, heating up this little area here, and then freezing it with that freeze and release. And that seems to be doing the trick. Um, luckily, I was able to get uh, <coughs> the exhaust manifold off. I had plenty of room here because that leaves me enough room to keep. Uh, to have enough room to bite with uh, vice grips. So, well, let's give it a shot, see if we can get the other two out. Just focusing the heat at the uh, casting in the exhaust port, you know, trying to heat the area around the stud. We want to keep the stud as cool as possible. We'll be hitting with, with the uh, Loctite freeze and release after we're done here, but uh, just don't want to heat the stud. You want to heat the cast iron around it so it will expand away from the stud, breaking that contact. Now, obviously, I wouldn't be doing this on, you know, a professional race car or something like this, you know, this, you know, kind of like a junkyard motor to me, can kind of do what I need to do, but on an aluminum head or something like that, I would be very careful or not even try this method. Turn it up a little bit so we can get some more penetration on the heat. Got smack it a few times. Just to impact it. Now we're gonna spray it. Only cooling down the stud. You wanna keep that cast as hot as possible. Give her a shot. And I found it works to move it back and forth. If something's stuck, it's not going to want to go all at once. It's just going to want to go a little bit. Just a little bit at a time. 
That's all she's gonna wanna go. We got it moving. Woohoo! Heck yeah. See that back and forth? That's all she wants to move. So you gotta keep working on it. And that squeaking means it needs some lubrication. Here, let me grab you guys for a moment. I want to show you. You can actually see. See right there? She is moving. That's awesome. So that stuff works. Um, if they're really stuck like this, then probably never been off in a truck's life. Uh, you probably need to use the acetylene torch like I did just to get that temperature difference and shoot it with that cold uh, release and it really breaks it free let me see if i can get this she might take some work and it's really stiff yet Spread again. Take a little bit past its comfort zone. like you're tapping a hole. You only want to go as far as you're comfortable. If you go too far, take a chance of locking it back up and it'll snap. Now you're going to have to re-tap all these holes when you get all the studs out and make sure you get all the junk and cutting fluid and all that stuff. Get that out of there. Get them all cleaned up and trued back up. And then you're going to want to put all new bolts on this of course with uh, high temperature never seize and your problem will be fixed. The shoes away is in there, huh? A lot of threads in the block. Thank you. 
look at that right there all one piece right there studs out she's gone done all right to finish this job up we're gonna retap all the holes so first we're gonna put in some cutting fluid into the hole and for the 351 Windsor we are using a 3816 bottoming end tap and we're going to thread that in by hand to get it started and then we're going to use a ratchet to clean out all the junk and open the threads back up and make them true again go until she's snug And we'll get all the rusty junk and crud out of there. That looks much cleaner already. And then what I like to do, take some brake clean, shoot up in there. It should be nice and clean. So we'll put it together with a brand new bolt, throw some high temp never sees on it, and it'll be all fixed. Alright, so I got all three studs out of the engine. Um, I'm very extremely happy with this uh, Loctite 8040 product. I mean, <laughs> wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do if, uh, if I didn't have used this. Thanks to my friend for uh, suggesting that for me. Um, so we got all three studs out. Uh, I used about a can and a half. Part of that was trying to learn how this you know, product works. Um, what I noticed in my application was they were extremely stuck and just the temperature difference of this icing agent didn't work so I tried a burns matic torch and that wasn't enough so I had to go to the uh, acetylene torch to get it up to 200 250 degrees and then shoot it with this stuff to get it get that temperature difference so well we got them all out and uh, I'm extremely happy uh, if you guys got any more questions uh, about this or uh, anything on the Jeep let me know uh, I'll try to get some more videos out there and uh, talk to you guys later So apparently that stuff is uh, highly combustible. <laughs>